Hello again, I'm doing lots of filming today which is good, I'm getting used to my camera a little bit more. What I'm doing at the moment is I'm going to try to make my own kombucha scoby. Uh, a lot of my friends brew kombucha, know what kombucha is. It's um, a fermented carbonated drink so you end up with a fizzy drink like soft drink. Um, has uh, bacteria and yeast, so SCOBY, S-C-O-B-Y, stands for Symbiotic Community or Culture of Bacteria and Yeast. So it has bacteria and yeast in it. You can buy commercial kombucha, lots of shops have it these days. And uh, I have brewed kombucha over the years. I just recently tried to refresh mine and it grew some yucky stuff on top of it. So I've been reading up about how you can use commercial kombucha to grow your own new SCOBY and uh, you need the SCOBY to actually do the fermenting. So you start off with some tea, so I've just brewed some, this is green tea and I have uh, sterilised this jar behind me, uh, behind the cup there, just by um, pouring in some boiling water, putting the lid on and letting the steam do its thing. So the instructions say to have about the same amount of tea as commercial kombucha. Um, so I have brewed one cup. My um, kombucha bottle contains 330 mils. You do have to be a bit careful about what kind of commercial, commercial kombucha you purchase. Um, You've got to make sure it hasn't been pasteurised, that it is still actually live. This one is from Margaret River. I have never purchased this brand before, but when I went to the supermarket, this was the only one I could find that seemed to be raw and most likely to grow a SCOBY. So I have poured the, um, the tea in here, and now I'm going to add the commercial kombucha in and the only other thing that I need to do is to dissolve some sugar. Now you may have been able to see the end of that was quite cloudy and that's a really good sign because that's where the bacteria and yeast are likely to be. So I am going to put a, a breathable lid over the top of that. What I tend to use fairly regularly is a piece of paper towel so I will just put a piece of paper towel over the top and attach that with uh, an elastic band because the paper is quite breathable you need this to be able to breathe you don't want a uh, kind of a stopper on there that's going to stop air from getting in there so I will be covering that up and leaving that for a few days and we will see whether I end up with a SCOBY.